Hello and welcome to How to Pin a Grasshopper. In this video we are going to learn how to pin a grasshopper for the Nebraska 4-H program. There are two types of grasshoppers. We have here what we might call a standard grasshopper where we're not going to spread the wings. Later in the video we will learn how to spread the wings of a grasshopper. Insert the pin on the right side on the lower portion of the pronotum according to the diagram. Make sure that the pin has been inserted so that the insect will be level on the pin. Use your styrofoam to push that pin down into the insect. Next, use your pinning block to make sure that the grasshopper is the proper height on the pin. In Nebraska, for the 4-H project, we look for insects to be 3 eighths of an inch to 1 half inch in height from the top of the pin. Then put your grasshopper back onto your styrofoam and use two pins to hold the grasshopper in place before you start to use other pins to hold the legs in place. Grasshoppers typically tend to move on pins when you're trying to adjust the legs. The goal should be to have your grasshopper look like it's in a resting natural position. Some legs uh, with those claws on the end of the tarsi may be able to hold themselves in place on the styrofoam while other legs will need to be held in position by the pins that you are using. Oftentimes a grasshopper will die with its legs out and extended on the rear legs and simply pushing down on the tibia and forcing it to bend can be a good way to get that leg to be positioned in the manner that you are trying to get it to go. Make sure to make any final adjustments, such as keeping the tarsi flat or any antennal adjustments, prior to allowing the grasshopper to dry. Make sure to follow uh, the instructions here on the screen to allow it to dry properly. At this point in the video, we're going to switch to spreading grasshopper wings. Uh, we use this typically for what are called band wing grasshoppers, and those wings are useful for identification. So we're going to start with the insect already pinned, begin by inserting pins to hold the grasshopper in place. As you are going to be pulling on those wings, that grasshopper is going to want to rotate on the pin that you have it sitting on. I am going to demonstrate pinning the left side of the wings out. Uh, I'm going to start by moving that uh, front wing out and then sticking a pin through the wing so that I can raise and lower the wing on the pin and that pin stuck in the styrofoam will hold it in place. You can do either the right side or the left side of a grasshopper or both as far as spreading the wings. You may also use a spreading board as you would in, with a butterfly or moth. Then I will bring here the rear wing forward and in the same manner hold it in place and then stick a finer pin through the wing just like I did with the forewing. Once those pins are in place you can adjust the height of the wings on those pins as you need to. You may need to allow the wings to dry in place for up to a week. <laughs> 